the Multi-Scanner i320 One-Step makes stud finding fast and simple. The i320 uses patented center vision technology to find the center of studs. The display screen indicates direction, edges, and center of both wood and metal studs and joists. The tool has two stud scanning modes, for regular walls with one layer of drywall and for thicker walls with two layers. There is also a mode for metal detection. The i320 features a signal strength indicator, which helps distinguish between shallow and deep targets, and wire warning indication to warn you of potential live AC wires behind the wall. Here's how to use it. If scanning for studs or joists, switch the tool to stud scan mode. Place your multi-scanner against the wall. Push and hold the power button. The word stud on the display screen confirms calibration. Slide it along the wall. When the tool is over either edge of the stud, the edge icon will be shown. The center of the stud will be indicated by the center icon, an audio tone, and the spotlight pointing system. Mark the center of the stud. Continue scanning. Mark the other edge. If you happen to start over a stud and move away, the unit will self-correct and calibrate again on its own. An arrow on the display will indicate the direction of the stud. If you have problems finding any studs, or if you know you are scanning through material thicker than three quarters of an inch, switch the tool to stud deep scan mode. The word stud blinks to indicate the tool is in deep scan mode. The center of deep studs will be indicated by the four middle bars. Please note that you should always start scanning in regular mode first, as deep scan could produce inaccurate results on standard walls. To find metal, switch the tool to metal scan mode. Press and hold the power button while holding the tool away from the surface to be scanned. Place the tool against the wall and begin scanning. As the unit approaches metal, the bars on the display will come together. If the object is large or close to the surface, it may give a strong reading several inches away on all sides. Simply mark where you first get the strongest reading, reverse direction, and mark where the tool again shows the strongest reading. This will give you two marks with a metal target between them. To narrow the results, turning the tool on closer to the metal target will recalibrate the tool with less sensitivity. Scan the area and mark the edges of the strongest signal just like last time. You'll get a smaller zone with the target still in the middle. You can do this repeatedly to further refine the search results. To confirm the location of metal targets like pipe, scan vertically. The tool should indicate a constant strong signal over long narrow targets like pipe. The wire warning indicator alerts you to the presence of a potentially live AC wire in the vicinity of your scan. This feature is always on in all modes. Extra caution should always be taken in the presence of electricity.